The Bank of Canada did it again after pausing since the end of January 2023 and increased the benchmark rate by 0.25%. Inflation numbers came in at 4.4% in April, higher than March's 4.3%, and Canada's GDP came in hot at 3.1% growth for the first quarter of this year. Between higher inflation and strong GDP, these two numbers gave the Bank of Canada room to increase the benchmark rate, which effectively increases all variable mortgages and lines of credit by 0.25%. Now, a quarter point is not material. However, it'll be interesting to see how that plays into the real estate market psychology. Will buyers hold back? My personal opinion, another increase in July, if there is one, that will have a bigger impact on the market psychology. But time will tell, because by then we would have had half a point increase, one in June and one in July. Although the Bank of Canada has no control on the bond market, which drives fixed mortgage rates, the five-year bond yield is up after the Bank of Canada's announcement a few days ago, which means expect higher fixed mortgage rates, unfortunately. Question is, how many more times will the bank increase its benchmark rates? I personally look down south to the US Federal Reserve. Yes, to the US. Once they're done, we will be done. Hint, they tend to move together. The spread between Canada's and US's benchmark rate cannot be too large, otherwise it will drive the Canadian dollar way too low, which is not a good thing for the Canadian economy. So my advice for now is to sit tight and buckle up. There isn't much we can control, unfortunately. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please comment below and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and I'll see you on the next video.